gardener and I just love this time of day. Early evening, well, late afternoon, early evening, the sun's low in the sky. I've had a wonderful time in the garden today doing bits and pieces and it just looks kind of magical. There's an amazing air to it. But I've um, been away from my garden recently. I've been camping, would you believe it? S sleeping under less than a mill of fabric on an airbed that, yeah, not my thing. But I did it and I did have a really good time. But it kept me away from the garden. And so, but what was really cool is because of the work I'd put into beforehand, setting up all my different um, routines and things, the garden wasn't that much out of control. What I have been doing though, since I got back from my experience camping, um, was I took care of my onions. So I can show you what I've done here. So this is my onion thing. Um, these onions have been in here for quite some time and they've been house drying. And I think they're pretty much dry now. I mean, um, and I need the space because there's another lot of onions that should have been pulled up um, a week ago, but I've been camping. So what I need to do now is string these up so I can store them. So I'll show you what I do. Firstly, you want to take a piece of string. Um, not too long because you don't want it too heavy with the weight of the onion. So, I don't know, maybe. Probably about that long. You see, just that long. And then tie a knot in it so that the end is secure. And you've got a double thing going on. So it's a loop. It's a loop. Okay, and then you cut it off. All right, you start hanging it up somewhere. And the window of the greenhouse makes it perfect perfect way. So you get your onion, tidy up for all the ends, a little bit of a clean, any layer that looks a bit manky just dust it off and then with the first one you um, make a little loop like that so you've got a little noose so just take the ends and wrap it back on itself so it's got a loop and then pop your first onion through the loop and then it's secured on there like um, like it's been knotted but it's not a knot and that's the anchor that will hold it all together and then you get your next onion and you clean it up Tidy, get rid of any loose ends, and then you pop it through the middle of the, the string, and then I like to wrap it around that string and then poke it back through the middle again so it's it's in there solidly. And then you get another one, tidy it up. You might not need to use the scissors. And then put it on the other side. So you're, you're looking for balance. So you wrap it around the opposite string. And then push it back through the middle. And it will become logical to you where the next one will go. Because there will be some kind of um, gap in the thing. Now if you come across any that are rotten or they don't look so good, they've been damaged, they're a bit iffy, then use those first so that you, because you know like, like the expression one rotten apple ruins the whole barrel, these are a little bit dry, I should have done it a week ago, it gets quite hot, hot here in the greenhouse, okay. 44 degrees Celsius is the temperature that it's reading right now. Well, no, not right now, oh my gosh. Um, the highest it's been. 
So keep working your way through. I won't bore you with it all. So, oh, gonna make a mess of my greenhouse. Now I'll carry on and I'll show you once I get to the end. far enough because it's quite a weight on that and you don't want it to collapse under its own weight so what you want to do now is just tidy it up by just going in there and cutting off all the loose ends I'm going to have to clean the shed, I think, of the greenhouse, I think, because there's a lot of onion mess on the floor. That's okay. So, give it a little. There we go. And that's, and that's the onion, um, the way I store my onions. I'll take them from here now. Um, it's just convenient to do this in here because they're stored on the bench. Um, and I'll take them from here and I'll store them for the winter in a um, in my shed, which is cool and it's dark. And with them hanging, then less chance of rodents getting into them as well. And that should get us through most of the winter, so into the spring. And hopefully I won't have to buy onions too much of the pre-season next year. This year, gosh, 2017. Just my onions. And I'll carry on doing the rest and then I'll show you something else. Okay, so now that I've cleared a space in the greenhouse by hanging up those other onions, it's almost like doing things in reverse, but I have more onions and they're ready to be harvested. Well, they probably should have been harvested maybe a week, two weeks ago, but this is the problem with having a holiday season in your, um, in the middle of your growing season. So things get put off and delayed. It should settle down from now on, everyone's sort of getting back to work and the kids aren't long out of going back to school, although they won't be pleased to hear that. So, I have onions. Now the classic sign when an onion is ready is it, it Falls, it falls over the tip um, naturally, not forced by the gardener. It just bends over. And that's an indication of when your um, onions are ready to harvest. Now, so half of these have, half of them haven't. Some of them are starting to go to seed. That's a really good indication as well. So, all I need to do now is harvest. They're quite easy because they just wrench out of the ground. So you just give them a tug and make them out. That's not a bad size. These ones are a variety called Pukakoi Longkeeper and what the name says is they they keep long. The ones that I were hanging before, they don't store as well so we'll eat those first. Those are Hunter River Whites. And then we have some red ones down the end, but they haven't done very well, so I'm not sure I'm going to show them to you. So, 
onions. Two down, a million to go. So it looks like my popcorn came ready while I was away. Unfortunately, someone else decided to help themselves to it. So I'm going to see what I can salvage, but ugh, so heartbreaking. Well, that was fun. I actually really enjoyed that. And we should have enough onions to last us a fair wee while. But I'd also like to just give you a quick update, let you see how things are going in the garden since we last caught up. You'd be surprised how much things have changed. I mean, look at the corn. This tassel, the tassels came out in the last couple of days and it's falling nicely onto the silks. So, fabulous, can't wait. I love fresh sweet corn. But let me show you what else. Come on, let's go and have a look. Come on, come on. I'm really impressed with this pepper. I mean, look, that's huge. I think I'll have it for tea. And over here, this is no ordinary pepper. It's a pepperoni. I can't wait to try that one. Then of course, there's the obligatory, look at the size of my tomatoes. There's loads of them all through. I've got loads of different kinds. This one's supposed to be a mortgage lifter, but I'm not so sure. These are my favorite, they're Oxycans, and they've got red and yellow marbling all the way through the flesh, and they taste amazing. Something else we'll have to have for tea, zucchini. I quite like the yellow ones. I still need to dig up the spuds. They're not very elegant, but they have finished and ready to go. The blueberries are coming ripe. Oh, yum. Oh, I love blueberries. The flowers are a riot of color. Such a sight to behold. And there's still loads of strawberries. Yum. Oh, so sweet and warm from the sun. And the celery. I mean, look, that looks just like a bought one. I am so pleased with it. I think I have can call that success. So that's kind of the ebb and flow at this time of year. Some things come out, like the onions. Some things finish, like the asparagus here. So I'll be leaving this in its ferny state until probably about June or July when it goes, um, it goes yellow and then I'll chop it down and then enrich it with compost and all sorts of other bits and bobs and then wait for the next lot in August so we've, we've enjoyed our asparagus um, but yeah the spinach looks like it needs to be pulled out some farm up stole my popcorn but there's still a lot going on which is really cool the garden I have to say for this time of year is looking really good and I'm really pleased with it so come again soon there's always, always, always something nice to see in a veggie garden. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.